Naveen, what about psychology? How to deal with it when I'm trading? How to deal with my emotions and my psychology when in the moment when I'm in a trade? How, how do I deal with it? Um, psychology is a very common word that's thrown around in our industry, mainly because it's the one size fits all answer. So if there's something wrong with your trading, I'm just going to say, oh, it's your psychology. End of story. Close the door. Chapter closed. Right. But psychology generally means there's something going wrong but you know it's not the right thing to do. This is when psychology is really an issue. Like, you know you're not supposed to do this. You know what is the right thing to do, but you did something else. That's the only time we can say it's psychology. Mm -hmm. We cannot label psychology where you did a trade, the trade was wrong, and it's like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, it's your psychology. No, it's not. That's an education piece that's missing. Okay. There's a gap in the education. It is not psychology. It is not every time I buy, I get a loss. What am I doing wrong? It must be psychology. No, it's education. Once you fix all the education and you know, okay, when this happens, this happens, this happens, I'm supposed to buy, but you bought way ahead of time and you suffered a loss before the trade went in your favor. Now you can say, what's up with my psychology? So when it comes to psychology, obviously there's a lot of self-help books out there. Okay, very open ended, a few things that you should do this, you should do that. A lot of them end with meditation. Um, they're all good advices. And, and you know, I follow some of them myself. Meditation is a big thing for me. Um, but at the end of the day, it's being conscious on the mistakes that you're making and actually being upset with them. So some people go the route of well, forgive yourself of why you made this mistake. I think the opposite. Tell your body you do not like this and the body will try to avoid it. Now, it's counterproductive to normal psychology, but I've seen this work countless times with some of my students where it's like, I let them, when they feel bad that they made a mistake, I let them dwell in that mistake a little bit longer before I step in and say, it's okay, you'll get the next one. That's actually the worst thing you can say to a trader. It's okay, you get the next one. It's not okay. Why is this wrong? Go fix it. Do your post analysis, figure it out. And tomorrow when you come in, this better not happen again. Okay, this needs to be perfected. So that psychology, I would say, let it boil a little bit, let it bother you. And then you come in the next day and you fix it. So you got to be conscious about it. So psychology, again, the reason why I'm pointing this out is first thing is to identify, is it really psychology? Or is it you don't know what you're doing in the market and you're just calling it a psychological issue? which most 90% of the people fall under this category. They have no idea what they're doing in this market and they're blaming psychology and they're reading endlessly on psychology and they feel I must be doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's like I get in a car and I'm driving and I'm like, I don't understand why this car doesn't fly. It must be my psychology. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it's, yeah. It cannot be psychology, you know? So. A lot of people approach psychology and they misinterpret the lack of education with psychology because that's the popular thing. Mm -hmm. It's what else can I blame something else on rather than blame myself for not being smarter, better, more intelligent to proceed. I don't know everything. It must be something else. So let me blame it on psychology. That's the last thing we want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. So first thing is to identify, is it psychology based on if you bypass your education? then it's most likely a psychology. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sometimes interesting that you point this out because sometimes I see myself doing this also. It's like I'm in a trade. I know that I should be closing the trade, but I have hope that the trade is going to work. And instead of focusing on price action, I'm focusing on the hope that it's going to work. And yeah. this is the psychology, psychological part. All right. Mm. All right. And that can be solved through you know, you can either intensify your education and your rules by some dangerous methods, or you can put a wristband and you can snap yourself every time. You know, there's one way of doing that, um, you know, but in 2023, we don't take drastic measures like that. We're more calm and more subtle and forgiving and cuddling and all this stuff. This has just devastated many people to saying, well, now that I'm stuck in psychology, they will never come out of it because no matter what happens, someone comes and hugs them and says, you'll be all right. We never grow out of making mistakes because someone comes and calls, right? And says, it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. That's absolutely the long path to take, in my opinion. Trading is tough. 
you are not against some middle schooler on the other end. You're against the world's brightest, finest, and ruthless people. Ruthless meaning they don't need coddling. You know, they will be there sharp, nine o'clock in a suit, fully ironed clothes, ready to go with X amount of degrees in the back end saying, I do this for a living. I do this for breakfast. This is fun for me. They don't come in with hope. They come in with the strategy. You, you, you understand what I mean? So yes, it's, it's, it's very important to understand the differences of who's our opponent. And these guys are not just simple kids. They're extremely smart uh, and they're extremely focused. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So identify, is it really psychology? And if it is, then there are multiple measures that you can take um, to fix that issue. I want to go further by even saying, if you feel you're unable to fix the psychology issue, it is best to stop trading. Otherwise, it will pull you in and it will wipe you out until there is a major life crisis where you're, you will eventually be forced to quit. Mm -hmm. It's better to stop when you consciously realize I can't fix my psychology. It's just not working. Neither am I seeking help for it or finding a way to solve it. I'm just stuck in a psychological loop. It's best to say I quit. That consciousness is very important and it will save years and years of your life to say now I go do something else where I will shine better than staying in trading and forcing it and forcing it and forcing it, but nothing, ch no changes happen. I'm doing the same thing over and over again. So it's very important to bring consciousness to this stuff. And you will very quickly find out if you're built to be a trader or not, because you have to make your own post analysis. No one can do it for you. That's right. So trading is a difficult game like that. Not hard educationally, but hard as a profession overall. I hope that helps with the difference of uh, what, why. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that was very powerful. Yes. Thank you.